This segment of the news is brought to you by Great Basin College, a pioneer in distance education. Your success is their tradition. Now offering over 25 degree and certificate programs in Harump and online. Well, Darby has a dog that is looking for a home to spend his senior years. Roddy is 12 and lovable and can be adopted right now at Symphony Animal Foundation. Hi, I'm Darby here at Symphony Animal Foundation and today we are joined with Roddy. Roddy is an older dog. He's between 10 and 12 years old. They believe that he's a Chow Shepherd mix. He doesn't get along with kitty cats, but gets along with other dogs. He loves kids and just people and basically anything that would give him attention. <laughs> he, he's a little bit of an old man, but that's okay because he's just super lovable and you should come down and see him and all of his friends here. At Symphony Animal Foundation, they're at 250 on Wheeler Pass. Take the road Panorama, which is in between AutoZone and Best Western. Keep going down that road till you hit the dirt road. Make a right onto Wheeler Pass. They're the only things out here you really can't miss them. You can give them a call at 775-990-6578. You can look them up at symphonyanimalfoundation.org, or you can check them out on Facebook at Symphony Animal Foundation. And Loretta Lindell invites the public to some upcoming events sponsored by the Pahrump Arts Council. We have the Arts Americana series coming up. We received a grant from the National Endowment for the Arts in order to encourage people to really get engaged with the arts in our community. So the things, some of the things that we are doing is to bring in performers and we're having concerts that will be coming up in March and in April. Wow. So on the 18th of March, we have TJ Casey and Jim Reader. TJ is uh, very well known in uh, the, the cowboy poetry circles. Uh, he's from Montana, he's a singer songwriter Western music and his partner uh, performing partner is Jim Reader and they're known as Shorty and Stretch mm -hmm. and they do a wonderful concert they will be with us on March 18th from 2 to 4 p.m. at the Bob Rood Community Center uh, tickets for all of the series uh, each event is $10 each um, a nice thing that's happening is at the same time as Shorty and Stretch will be here performing that's the same day that the chili cook-off is going on at uh, Patrick Park, so it's a, it'll be a good fit, I think. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's going to be a full day. Mm -hmm. For sure. So uh, there's going to be some other upcoming concerts as well? Yes, absolutely. So on March 31st, we have a jazz quartet coming in from Las Vegas. They're called the Shapiro Project. And uh, interestingly enough, we had them out in the early 2000s. They were all just graduating from the University of uh, Nevada at Las Vegas. Vegas in the Jazz Studies program mm -hmm. and had just formed the quartet and they've been just going strong ever since. The two main performers are uh, Eugene Shapiro and his brother and who plays the drums and then they've had other people you know join and come and go in the quartet but they've performed all over the world and uh, as well as at the Smith Center in Las Vegas so we're really we're really fortunate to have them come so that's March 31st that's a Friday and it'll be 7 p.m. at the Prump Valley High School Auditorium Wow. And then on the 7th of April, we have Jason Nias coming in, and he's formed his own dance group called Melody. And they do all of that, that wonderfully muscular body percussion and step dancing and, and just really great stuff. They're just so much fun to watch. So that will be at 7.30 at the Nye Communities Coalition uh, Event Center. And you can get these tickets uh, just by calling the Prump Arts Council? Yes, that's probably the easiest way to get started. Give us a call. Uh, you can also go online at pvpac.org. You can order online. All right, and you can find out more um, online, of course, uh, at the Prump Arts Council and give it a phone call. It's important to join the Prump Arts Council, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. We'll just be starting our, our next our campaign for uh, memberships for the coming year. So, yes, there is an online form you can fill out or... Uh, you can, again, just give us a call. We can send you one. We'll do our best to, to try to get you involved. What's that number? 775-751-6776. So many things to do. Well, it's time to sign up for the Nye Communities Coalition Hope Run happening soon in Mountain Falls. So the Hope Run is an annual event that we have um, to raise funds to provide dr drug, alcohol, tobacco prevention programming into the schools. 
and um, this is the ninth annual Hope Run. It's a walk or run. You can either go 5K, which is 3.1 miles, or you can do the one mile distance. It's going to be held at Mountain Falls on April 1st. It starts at 8 a.m. You can register here at the Coalition or at active.com and search for Hope Run. And you also, you don't have to run, you can walk. You can walk. There will be probably as many walkers as runners. It's just a really fun event, a good, healthy, you know, social event. And you can um, just come, come and be around like-minded people and, and do something healthy that's good for your body and good for the community. Also, bring the kids. Bring the kids, yeah. Yep, no, um, get the sign-ups done with your registration fee that um, you will receive a t-shirt, breakfast, drinks, uh, a finisher's medal yeah. so it's going to be very exciting I have a great uh, team of people that's working on making this a really big event and how much is the entry fee the entry fee is $25 All right. and so people can find out more by contacting you contact me at uh, here at the coalition 727-9970 uh, extension 222 or you can reach out to me on Facebook Tammy T-A-M-M-I NICC well, have you ever tried to clean coffee out of your carpet? How about wine or even blood? It's no easy task. Is it possible to get it out yourself or do you need a pro? What about all those home remedies? Do they really work? We find out in today's Angie's List report. Different spots may require different cleaning methods, but regardless of the substance, there's no time to waste. If you discover a stain on your carpet, you want to act quickly, but don't be too hasty. You want to make sure you're using the right tools. Use a dry, clean cloth and blot. Don't rub in the stain, otherwise it might lead to a lasting stain. Blood can be one of the trickiest things to get out. If the blood has uh, coagulated and started to clump, you'll want to take a spoon or a very dull type of instrument, a butter knife, something of that nature, and remove it first and then start to blot it out with a soap and water solution. Use cold water for blood stains, but Swinson recommends a cup of warm water mixed with a quarter cup of dishwashing liquid for just about everything else. There's also another trick when dealing with a spilled glass of red wine. Red wine can be one of the toughest stains, but it can be solved. So what you need to do is first blot the spot where the red wine has been spilt, and then if you actually sprinkle some white wine on top of the red wine, you'll improve your chances of getting that spot out. For deep stains that seep through to the padding, especially pet urine, blotting and cleaning will only do so much. Obviously, you won't be able to get all of it that way. Uh, the best way to do it is to use an extractor of some sort. Uh, a little small hand extractor can save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars in uh, carpet uh, cleaning. This is Caitlin Boyer reporting for News 46. Thanks, Caitlin. Well, you can find a small portable uh, spot lifter for under $100. A more powerful extractor could run several hundred, depending on the suction power and recovery tank capacity. Still, Angie recommends leaving it to the pros when it comes to ink, bleach, or Kool-Aid. Those all make the tough stain list, and you can damage your carpet if you aren't careful. Also, try any home remedies in an inconspicuous spot before attempting to clean something in a highly visible area. We'll have your weather and weekend announcements after this break.